Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of Tasty Planet. So we have 6 levels left and I'm thinking I'm taking uh, these 5 here today and save this one for the last because what I know of this level is over 20 minutes long so <laughs> but um, let's jump into it and uh, we have 1 minute to complete this one so this should be fairly well holy crap cats you're crazy Okay, they can shoot each other's lasers. That's uh, not how lasers work, though. So. Ow! Get away, get away, get away. Um, someday someone should tell these cats how lasers work. I can leave these guys. Good thing. But um, lasers are... Actually, those lasers are kind of slow. I think it's plasma lasers? Plasma things, maybe? I don't know. But what I know of... Um, lasers is kind of only light and... Light kinda pass through each other. That's also why lightsabers doesn't work. <clears throat> so, holy crap. Get away, get away, get away. Who gave these cat lasers in the first place? They don't have the authority to use them properly here. Okay, I can eat the cat. That's what you're getting for shooting me with a freaking laser. <laughs> I still don't like that uh, meow sound they make. There we go. So, <laughs> but... Well, this is gonna be a short episode if everything is eating that fast. Oops. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I want this as elevator music. You can't tell me I'm the only one. <laughs> Sorry if I'm singing the, with the music, but um, I'm kind of enjoying it. And I'm not big enough to take the tanks. Don't destroy my cars, man! Uh, more things to eat? Come on, cars. Before we get destroyed by the tanks. Again, why are the future all about the lasers? I had hoped that the future would be kind of a nice place with heavy people and stuff like that, but nope. They're gonna destroy your ass with a freaking laser. Don't destroy my fine my food! <laughs> my fine. Me food. Ow. <laughs> That's a common thing I say in this uh, first play thing. Ow! <laughs> Every time I collide with anything. Come on! Why are you so slow? Finally! Eating time! There's one up here. There's some big things here. Nom 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 nom. I can't eat the houses yet though. Okay, so what was I talking about? Something about future being scary and stuff. Oh, I can eat the houses. I don't hope that um, anyone used that. Oh god, I was slow. Well, four minutes. Ooh, we in space! Bye bye, future! What the hell? That escalated quickly, actually. <laughs> like, going from eating. Small things. Mm. So, when you hit the 100 meter mark, you go into space. Okay. That's, there's actually a lot of. Um, I actually don't know how far up in space we are right now. But considering there's so many asteroids, um, I don't think that's how uh, it looks over the Earth. There will be more satellites than the asteroids there. I'm pretty sure of that, and space junk. Because we humans, uh, since we started the explorations of space, we have put so much junk in s uh, space. Like, seriously, we have old satellites that doesn't work anymore. Uh, there is the, I think, I can't remember, I think it was China that actually blew up uh, one of the satellites. And 
because of that we have millions of junk in space now. Uh, not that we didn't have it before, but uh, I saw a program that where some from NASA, uh, NASA, NASA told them that there was um, they were training such a, uh, so much uh, space junk in space, and then uh, China blew up that um, space station, and then they had so many small pieces that they can't even follow anymore. But it's also funny to think about what uh, junk there is in space at the time, because there are like um, old spaceships, um, not spaceships, um, what's called them, uh, space stations, uh, satellites, satellites, that's what I was looking for, uh, old satellites, parts, and uh, there are, um, of course there will be some rocks, but there's most um, grains size of rocks. Um, but also, um, when the astronauts lose something um, into space, um, like uh, what's called um, a screwdriver or something, when they're working on space station or satellites or something like that, <laughs> and they lose it, <laughs> they float around and their old um, um, parts um, for spaceships, um, like booster rockets and stuff, that they just left in space because, hey, we don't need them anymore, we get rid of them. So, yeah. But I don't think there's that many uh, these size rocks here. And also, I think uh, my size compares to the Earth is not correct. Uh, and also, all humans on the Earth have just been destroyed by satellites. Satellites, uh, by um, rocks. Ooh, the moon! The moon is too close to the Earth, that's not a good thing. And I can't hit things. That's also a funny thing, actually. Sometimes when you see pic uh, pictures, uh, pictures and movies and stuff, when you see the moon <laughs> um, in comparison to the Earth, they are never right. The moon is actually quite far away from the Earth um, comparison. Also, the moon is actually too small there, I think. The moon is actually quite large in comparison. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the moon is one third of the size of the Earth. Um, I'm not quite sure about that, but um, I think that's how it is. Um, but it's, um, I think it's 20 times farther away f uh, from the Earth than the... Uh, uh, what is it? Um, the Sun... If you take the Moon, then the Sun is 20 times farther away from the Earth than the Moon. So... I can't find anything to eat. Where are my f Ooh, up there. So this must be the asteroid belt. Um, or actually it was... One thing they should have put um, in the asteroid belt, I think actually they should have put the Sirius, for those who know what that is. Uh, Sirius, um, worse are... Uh, what's called? Um, an uh, asteroid until uh, they demoted uh, Pluto into a dwarf planet um, because of the terms uh, what a dwarf planet is. Uh, Sirius uh, was actually an asteroid that was big enough to be crushed down to the size of a sphere. Uh, not crushed down to the size, but uh, crushed down to... Uh, become, uh, was big enough to become a sphere because of the gravity. Um, and since, uh, because of that it actually now is a dwarf planet. I think that's kind of cool. So that's the closest uh, dwarf planet we have to the Sun, uh, where Pluto is in second place at the moment, uh, until we maybe find something else. Um, also, just because people talk a lot about it, I actually see uh, Pluto as a dwarf planet, not a planet, uh, because of the determination, determination the, the, the terms on which the dwarf planet is. Also, I have nothing against uh, Pluto becoming a dwarf planet, actually, because... Yeah, maybe it was a planet, but it's kind of cool to think that... Uh, instead of a planet, the last planet is the first dwarf planet, and it's the first of its kind. So, that's kind of intriguing for me, I think. I, I, I like the idea. And did I even eat Pluto? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think I have Pluto. I think that's it, Pluto, actually. Um, but yeah, I, I really um, love space and stuff like that. 
Um, but yeah, I have nothing against Pluto being a dwarf planet instead of a planet like so many other people have. So you can hate me for that if you want that, but um, hey, that's my opinion on this. Kind of fly into an asteroid or something like that. I know they can die because I just saw it for a few seconds ago. You bastard! That what you get for destroying my food. Ow! There we go. Food! Why are you so good at inviting? There we go. But yeah, this is it. I'm okay with the Pluto being a dwarf. Because I actually... Also again, why make such a fuss about it? Um, it's not that it's not an important uh, body, uh, body in our solar system anyway. Uh, uh, now that the New Horizons just got to it here uh, last year. And I find that kind of interesting, so... But... Yeah, some people are just like... But again, we have to make terms for things, or else uh, it get confusing. But um, I will just shut up about it. Um, I have nothing against it being a drop planet, so that's what I think. Anyways, let's um, eat these asteroids. And holy crap, why are there police things in space? TP2. TP2. Uh, time police 2? Because I'm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, ow? I have a feeling because I'm talking this much, I'm getting really bad at the levels. Ooh, I can eat bigger rocks. Ooh, put up, put up. <laughs> Around we go. Away from you, yo. Hey, I can eat you. No. But I can crash you together. <laughs> Wasn't there anything. I want big space rocks. Not big enough for that one. Oh, I can eat you. Guys. Guys, stop killing each other. I want to eat you. Like this. And now I can. Oh, I got it. Phew. I thought it would get in the way. No one can stop me now. You just killed each other, okay. Maybe that will stop me from completing my task if you kill yourself. Okay, so last level for today. This is also a longer one, I can see. Ba -da -ba -ba -ya. So we start off by eating a star. And another star. I don't think actually that's a good idea to eat stars now that I, th that I think about it. Because stars um, tend to be kind of hot. Even the small ones. Like, seriously. Uh, the small, the red one is actually the cool ones, but I'm eating everything. But the red ones, um, they're called red dwarf, um, red dwarfs, I think. Um, then we have the yellow that is just. Uh, I've, the sun is also a star, but hey, uh, but the yellow ones are just called normal stars, I think. And then we have. Uh, oh no, we have Dwarf Stars, Yellow Stars, um, Red Giants, um, Hypers... You know, something... Hyper Stars, I think it's the blue ones, and... Holy crap, don't uh, judge me, I'm not, I don't, I'm not good at stars, but... I know that the stars... Our sun is actually a small star compared to the... Really big guys that's out there, like... Uh, there's one called Beetlejuice that is like a million times bigger than our sun, I think. And then there was uh, a star, I think that star only has a number. But that is a uh, hundred times bigger than Beetlejuice. So that's like, holy fuck, those guys are big. Uh, so, our star is small. Atomical units, I don't think that's a thing, is it? I have to check that out. Uh, my size. Uh, I don't actually know if atomic units is a thing because by the speed I'm traveling red right now, you would actually count in um, what's called in um, light years instead of 
uh, an actual measurement because the the sizes we get to is so mind-boggling that you can't even comprehend them. Oh, actually, some people say they can't. I I have a hard time comprehend them. I can comprehend something uh, the, the 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 distance between some stars like uh, our star, uh, our solar system, and the um, closest solar system to us is. Oh, uh, I actually know it. It's uh, I can't remember the name of it yet, but uh, closest uh, to us is like four light years away, and I have heard the uh, the number for it, uh, how far away it is, and it's a mind-boggling number, but. I still have a uh, idea how long that is, uh, but when they talk about other stars that is even further away than that, then I really get like, holy fuck. <laughs> and I just ate a black hole, I don't think that's how it works. And um, now we're eating Nibbleless. Um, I don't think Nibbleless is um, kind of... Um, Soaring through the universe like uh, this. <laughs> I know they are, but um, they're kind of slower. And I don't think you can hurt yourself with them because they're primarily um, oxygen, not, not oxygen, um, hydrogen and helium gases. Most parts. Oh, unless it's um, uh, um, a star nebula uh, by, from an exploding star, then they're considered. Then there are other elements in them, like. Um, heavier elements because they are produced in stars and I am just rambling about my stupid knowledge about the universe and stuff and space but hey why not uh, have a let's play where I also can educate people in um, knowledge about the universe because that's something people want to hear about <laughs> I actually have no idea who can I eat that star cluster So, I am quite big if I'm eating star clusters right now, because the star cluster can be hundreds of light years across, I think. Let's see, our galaxy, the Milky Way, um, is, we don't know if it's correct though, but uh, this one here is considered to be 100, I think it's uh, 100,000 light, light years across. Um, so, and um, our galaxy is not even a big one comp in comparison to others out there. Um, I think the uh, in our uh, neighborhood, uh, our cosmic neighborhood, as it's called, uh, the biggest one I think is um, Androm uh, the Andromeda Galaxy, uh, which uh, we will collide with in about. Um, um, what's it called? In I think it was hundred million years or so. Oh, it was it? Yeah, I think it was hundred million years. Um, but again, it's so far away. But I, I, for some reason, I wish that I actually lived to see it because it would be. I, I really would like to see um, the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy collide and turn into um, uh, what's called um, I think it's the, they call it Milk Dromeda the galaxy that it will become afterwards and the fun thing is actually when that happens um, it's likely that our galaxy will not be a um, spiral galaxy but an ellipse galaxy afterwards because of the angles that the two galaxies hit each other and also that almost all the stars uh, the chance for the stars to hit each other when the two galaxies collide is so small that we will probably even, uh, not even notice when that happens. Because the chances for two stars to collide is so little. <laughs> that's, that's really funny to think about when you think about how many stars there are in the galaxies. So, but yeah. That would be something when that happened to him one day. In 100... I think it's 100 million years, but, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, we eat everything. So now there's only one little bit left. And, let's see. Yeah, 21 minutes. I'm not taking that today. I will save that for the next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time.
Farewell. <laughs>